Welcome to your first May reading, you guys. This is my channel, Triple Moon Oracle. Nice to see you. So we're going to be doing a general energy check-in, see where you're at, see what's going on with you. i um, going to cover general topics right now. And then in the extended, we're going to move into a more of a love-specific reading for you. So if you're dealing with a love um, situation, that will be in the extended to access, access that. There's the Patreon and there's the one-time deal. I have everything written out in the description box for you. Um, spots are limited in my Patreon tiers right now with the perks that you get and the levels that are there right now. I only have two spots left um, in three of the levels. One of the levels is sold out. I will be revamping my Patreon very soon, changing the levels, um, lowering the perks a little bit. So you got to jump on <laughs> the way it is now if you want to lock that in. Um, Look what I have written out in the description box if that's confusing to you because I have it all written out there for you. Um, let's see what else. You get a free 30-minute reading when you sign up at the $7.77 level. Um, and there's two spots for that right now. And then, um, yeah, let's see. Anything else that I'm trying to think of? Um, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate your guys' support and subscriptions and likes and all of that. It just helps circulate the video when you do the thumbs up. Turn on your notifications too when you subscribe to like all so you're notified when the, my readings come out. Um, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it doesn't resonate for you, check your other placements like your Moon, your Rising, your Venus. Um, or you can book a personal reading. Um, that information is in the description box for you, okay? I would recommend um, contacting me through my email instead of my website. It's just a little easier to do, but you can absolutely um, buy a reading on my website as well, okay? All right, you guys, overall energy for Leo, please, Spirit. Overall energy for Leo. I have good energy for you guys right now. Yeah, it feels good. Feels like the cha a change, okay? It feels like a change in the wind, but it feels like a good change. Oh my God. <gasps> Journey. This is like the Six of Swords energy of like moving on, okay? It could be a, a card about traveling as well um, or literally moving, um, going on a new adventure. Um, but it's definitely a Six of Swords card of like moving on from where you're at moving forward you know she's got her bags packed and all so she's leaving a situation and moving towards a new beginning all right that is definitely oh look at that victory i knew you guys had some good energy overcoming okay um what's the word for it uh oh my gosh when you get like um promotion promotions awards um overcoming obstacles, just victory in your life in general. You have victory coming for you, okay? A man holding a coin in the reverse. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. The thinking woman, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And the healer of the ages in the reverse, okay? Okay. So I feel like there's a situation for some of you between a man and you, or like you you and a man or you and a woman. Okay, you're either the thinking woman or you're the man holding your coin. Sorry, I gotta like close my window. Ugh. They always decide to do weed whacking or some shit when I'm doing this. Okay. Um, and I'm sensitive to my sage smoke, so it's like, we have indecision in the reverse with attachment and deceit in the reverse. It's like you're letting go of some kind of attachment or deceptive energy. You're making a decision to move forward. Um, and you could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, okay? Sometimes this is about somebody who like controls your money or your um, resources or something. Um, you could be dealing with a woman, okay? 
but you've also like a lot of you have a connection to Jesus um, as a healer, ascended master, um, or God or whatever. Okay. So connection to Jesus right now, you may feel like your spiritual life is kind of a little bit disconnected, but that's okay. All right. Let's get some overall energy here. Hi, Leo. My son just walked in the room. Hey, bud. Okay. We have two. Two? Yes. Two candles? Yeah. Yes, two candles. So we have soulmates in the reverse, between worlds in reverse, and exchanging gifts in the reverse. Okay. So some of you could be dealing with a love, really, a love situation that's not going so well. Okay. It's having a hard time transitioning into a better time. You're having a hard time really sharing your authentic self with this person. Um, this between worlds card in the upright, it means like you're transitioning from a hard time to a better time with, with this soulmate, but both, both of these in the reverse, sorry, excuse me, mean that that transition isn't happening very easily. We have observer, a change in the wind and deep knowing. Yeah, there's a deep knowing that you have within you that um, I think your perspective, perspective is changing on a situation, possibly in love. Um, and you feel this change in the wind. You feel this change coming. Um, with the, In the reverse, you haven't made this decision yet. But there's a deep knowing that something's coming. Okay. Yeah, so you have a deep knowing about something that's about to take place. Um, and Spirit's saying it's time for a timeout. Okay. It's time for you to go into hermit mode, do some self-reflection. Something isn't happy anymore. Something isn't fulfilling anymore. And um, it's coming to a boiling point with this um, chaos and conflict, but this is also the universe is doing. Okay. This is fate. This tearing down of whatever it is, is something is crumbling. Something is coming to an end or transforming or transitioning. Um, and it, and it's fate. Okay. So this is kind of like my tower card where the tower is, you know, a big change or a big upheaval, uh, it's a huge time of transformation, but it's like because something ended or something changed in a very massive way. So it's changing your life in that drastic way, okay, with that chaos and, chaos and conflict card. But with the fates right next to it, this is a divinely guided um, situation. This whole thing is divinely guided, so there's no need to worry about that. Um, but you are sensing uh, a, a huge change in the wind, okay? Huge change in the wind for sure. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put that change in the wind card out just because I feel that energy along with the chaos and conflict. We've got, um, you know, divine intervention here going on, okay, with a situation that um, is no longer happy or is no longer working out the way you thought it would you know with this exchanging gifts in the reverse this is like an inability to work together with somebody this is an inability to share your authentic self with somebody um especially with the soulmates card this is you know a relationship that is is not working out all right there is a crumbling here of a foundation um of the way things were Let's get some Moonology cards here. Spirit, what do you want Theo to know? All right, we have a fiery climax approaches. Basically what I just said, um, there is a, it's like a boiling, um, uh, what's it called? Like a boiling pot or a, a thing that's, you know, coming to a, uh, an, a, a head okay and all of a sudden it's gonna boom it's just gonna change the fiery climax approaches something is about to really shift big time and the full moon in aries is what we had um, not long ago so that was significant for you in this change okay something could have happened right around that time that instigated something changing here bring love into the situation okay so love for yourself first and foremost um bring what I'm hearing is bringing love for yourself into this situation. If you love yourself, you know 
the decisions you need to make and what you need to do. You're very close to achieving your goal, okay? So a lot of you are very close to getting to some type of achievement or some type of goal that you had for a while. Work through your fears, okay? A lot of you have a lot of fears. Uh, new moon in Scorpio, so we just had the full moon in Scorpio. Um, there's a lot of fears involved in this situation, so Spirit's wanting you to work through those fears and give your fears um, you know, to the universe, to God, to whatever, so that you can overcome those fears and work through whatever it is that is happening. Emotions are running high for sure. Okay. So there's the heightened emotions right now. It's a big change. It's a big transformation. So that's, you know, um, very understanding. And we have your hard work is paying off new moon and Capricorn. Okay. So you guys could have uh, Aries in your chart, Aquarius in your chart, Scorpio in your chart, or Capricorn in your chart, or you're dealing with a Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Aries. Okay. Or somebody with those in their chart. Um, but you have something that you've been working on, um, some type of goal that you've been wanting to achieve, and you're very close. Your hard work is paying off. Uh, but it's really this... This change, I feel like, needs to take place for you to get to a place where you can really move forward with what you're wanting to do in your life, okay? Oh, look at that. I opened right up to love and blame, okay? Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, including myself. I added that part. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being, okay? So this is the first reading that I've had um, that I feel like is a love reading. My other readings have been very, you know, general, okay? They have kind of went all over the place. But I feel like this is, for most of you, this is a specific love situation. Um, for others of you, it's just about gaining victory and, you know, seeing your hard work pay off. But a, a huge change has to take place first. But for a lot of you, this is about love, self-love, um, romantic love, okay? There's something here that it's kind of like this blame game, okay, that happens between you and this person. There's, um, there is somebody that you love, and also when it comes to loving yourself, there's blame that you put on yourself, and there's blame that you put on your person, um, and you alone you alone are responsible for your well-being okay so if we're unhappy in a situation and we choose to stay we are responsible for staying okay in an unhappy situation we are responsible for the consequences of what that brings if we stay in an unhappy situation so um you know Blaming other people for our problems never works out because we choose to stay around that person. We choose to stay in that friendship or that relationship or whatever it is. And we don't make a move to break ourselves free or make ourselves happy. And, and ultimately, I accept the responsibility for my well-being. It's on us, you know. Um, doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Okay, so a lot of you have a lot of doubt right now. And then we have indecision. So I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. A lot of doubt, a lot of indecision, a lot of struggle understanding which direction to go um, and knowing which choice to make right now, okay? But ultimately, your happiness relies on you. Ultimately, you are responsible for your own well-being. In the grand scheme of things, when everything is said and done, did you make the choices that made you happy or did you make the choices that kept you stuck? Okay, and that's really what it's coming down to in this reading for you, all right? So let's get to the tarot and see what's going on. We have the justice with the six of cups in reverse. Okay, there's some nostalgia or staying stuck in the past, or um, but dealing with injustices, dealing with things that have happened to you that you don't think are fair. Um, and the universe is balancing the scales right now, trying to... Oh my God, look at this. Two of swords, eight of swords. This is some stuck energy if I've ever seen it, okay? This is, look at, she, in both pictures, she got blindfolds on. This is that doubt and that indecision. Ultimately, it comes to self-sabotage because you don't see a way out. 
you don't see a way out. So you sacrifice your happiness and you sacrifice your soul and you sacrifice everything because you don't see a way out. But ultimately, the way out is up to you and, and your freedom is, is up to you. Two of Swords is that place of indecision. It's that place of, I don't know which direction to go, what to do. Um, choices are not easy, okay? Big choices, these kinds of things are not easy, but when it comes to your happiness, looking at what you truly want and what you truly desire. Um, where was that intuition card? I release the need to know all the answers. Oh, I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. With decision, with indecision, needs um, intuition, okay? I just made that up. That's good. Two of Pentacles, trying to make a decision. So the, the twos represent change or, or choices, okay? The twos represent choices. Which direction do I go? What, what, which one do I keep and which one do I let go, you know? Juggling two people or juggling two um, paths in life, okay? You've got all that going on right now, all right? Some of you could be trying to decide between two people. Some of you could be trying to decide between two paths in life, not knowing where to go and, and which direction to take, all right? So let's see here. What's going on for Leo? Star in reverse, okay? So um, the star in reverse to me is about losing hope. Uh, something, a situation that can no longer be healed, a situation that is no longer um, feeling like it's fate, okay? Uh, it's kind of run its course. It's um, where all of a sudden you feel like, you know, where it feel, felt like a faded situation in the past it's feeling it's no longer feeling that way it's it's losing that energy as this is what i'm meant to be this is who i'm meant to be with this is what i'm meant to do with my life that there's some energy that's um waning okay in that direction and so you're starting to feel like the change is inevitable like this is no longer my destiny this is no longer where i need to be there's something else that I need to be doing. There's somebody else I need to be with. There's, you know, a direction that I need to be going that I'm not going right now. And that is why this tower moment is coming in, okay? The tower moment comes in when we are indecisive and we don't move forward. It is our higher selves, um, God's, the universe's way of changing things when we can't change them ourselves, okay? Something that we wished upon a star for in the past, we're no longer seeing in the same way. Or you're no longer, I should say. I don't think I have any Leo in my chart, to be honest. Hangman, absolutely. Okay. To be in the hangman position with the two of swords and the two of pentacles, you're stuck. All right? Stuck 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 um stuck in the mud all right the hangman can be about trying to change your perspective as well so yeah you're on the precipice of um a massive change here okay you're on the precipice of a big upheaval um because if you stay in this energy for too long the two of pentacles two of swords and the hangman um you will come to a place where it's almost like the universe will make the decision for you, okay? We can't stay in this place for too long without... Um, I heard something last night, and I think it's really smart, because who knows how all of this shit works, right? The universe, God, like, how does it all work? I was listening to another um, tarot card reader, and he said, he goes, I don't think that... The universe like makes things happen, okay? Because like we have free will. But he said, I believe that our higher self manifests certain things. Our highest self who wants the best for us, who wants like, you know, um, is the higher self that's connected to the divine, connected to source energy, understands what we need. And so our higher self manifests certain things and will manifest the end of situations because 
in our heart of heart of hearts, we're no longer happy there. We want something different. And so our higher self connected to God, connected to the divine, manifests that situation into our life um, where we haven't been, where we aren't able to, okay? Where we're not able to make that decision. We're not able to make that change in our like ego place. Our higher self connected to the divine is and will step in to make that decision, okay? And that's what I'm feeling here. Chaos and conflict, which is a tower card. All this indecision energy, um, the end of like fate energy. You know when something comes in your life and you're like, oh, this was so meant to be, whether it's a job or a friend or whatever. And then after, you know, a certain amount of time, you start feeling like it's time to move on, that it's no longer this faded thing. The reason is, and what I believe, is because karmically we've learned our lessons. We have learned the lessons that we've needed to learn with this person, with this job, with this friend, and it's time to move on. I don't believe that everything is permanent in our lives, okay? And the practice of letting go, non-attachment, um, through Buddhism and all of that, I think that it's it's a beautiful practice because never, nothing is permanent in our lives, nothing. All right. So everything has purpose, but it's never permanent. Right. We'll get a couple more cards and then we'll move on to the extended for you guys. What else do we have for Leo spirit? What's coming down the road for Leo? Okay. We have five of swords. Yeah. So, um, the five of swords energy can mean like trying to win at all costs. It's a, it can be a selfish, selfish energy. Um, you could be going through some kind of battle right now, um, between you and another person like fighting a lot, or you guys are in a place where each person wants to be right. Each person feels like they're, um, fighting their, you know, finding the right battle and all of that. I see this along with this exchanging gifts card, you know, the inability to work together, the inability to um, have that cohesive, uh, cohesive relationship, okay? So we have Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Knight of Wands in the reverse, and the Three of Wands, okay? So the Three of Wands is about waiting for your ship to come in. There's something here on the horizon for you, and it's right there, okay? You're about to experience something that's, it, it's coming in for you, but you're dealing with some energies here with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Like the Queen of Pentacles can be, um, the Queen of Pentacles is the mother of the deck, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, in the reverse, you know, she's kind of lacks responsibility, lacks uh, that mother energy, re lacks like the ability to be kind of trustworthy and all those things, kind of and stable, stability, okay? The Knight of Wands in reverse, um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy is like a non-committal energy being in and out like somebody who wants their freedom, somebody who just wants to be on their own and independent. Okay. Um, Knight of Wands in reverse can be player energy as well. So it's like somebody who's lacks responsibility, lacks stability, um, lacks, um, commitment. Okay. And like all of that. Uh, so you could be dealing with somebody with that kind of energy. So really what's happening now is that you're waiting for something better to come in three of wands. Okay, you're waiting for something better come, to come in and I, I see it right on the horizon for you, but this tower has to fall first. This chaos and conflict has to fall. The thing about this card, I love it. Um, the zebra has giraffe stripes or giraffe print, okay? Zebras are not giraffes, right? But it's had the giraffe print on itself um, as a symbolism of not being its authentic self. And when this tower moment comes in to kind of destroy something, okay, um, what it does is it crumbles off all of the parts of us that are no longer serving us, the parts of us that are not authentic, the, the, the person that we hid underneath is no longer there and we're our true authentic selves after that situation occurs. Um, and that's part of what I see, what I'm hearing is 
that's part of the higher selves connected to the divine. That's part of the um, mission, okay, is to get us to a place where we are true authentic selves and happy in our pl in that place. And above all, I see that as um, like our number one goal, you know, are we truly ourselves? Are we truly happy where we're at? Or do we need to make an adjustment? Okay, so we're going to move into the extended reading. Um, we're going to look more into a love situation in that reading, see what's going on with you. See what your advice is. See what's going on with your person, their energy, and all of that. Get a couple oracle cards in here as well. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on for you, okay? Um, if you want to join me in the extended, like I said, uh, Patreon or the one-time purchase. Hope to see you guys there. Okay, bye, Leo. The deck. We have the devil in the reverse. Page of Wands. And the sun, okay? So this is an energy of you releasing negativity, releasing toxicity, and finding your spark again. Page of Wands is Sagittarius Leo Aries energy. It is very youthful energy. It's like that spark that you had when you were younger and you were vibrant and you just look at this energy of just... And the sun, you... So sun rules Leo, okay? So... This is your energy here, this vibrancy, this youthfulness, this happiness, like dancing in the sun and being so excited again for life. Like that's what this energy is. And um, you're ready to release toxicity here with the devil to have this back in your life. Okay. Have that back. 